how NASA will prepare in 2023, this year that is, to put humans back on the moon. The work is underway already to prepare the launch facility and assemble the rocket and crew capsule for next year's Artemis II, with NASA likely to announce who will be flying the mission around the moon in the coming months. In the wake of the successful flight of the uncrewed Artemis I mission, NASA will be taking key steps this year towards putting humans back on the moon for the first time in 50 years. Engineers at the Space Agency will be crawling over the data collected by last year's pioneering flight of the Space Launch System SLS rocket and Orion crew model. At the same time, NASA is working to assemble its next SLS rocket and prepare the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center for the crewed mission Artemis II mission. This will carry four astronauts more than 5,523 miles beyond the moon, further than any human has ever been from the Earth, on an 8 to 10 flight test. Building on this, no earlier than 2025, the Artemis III mission will see four astronauts travel in an Orion capsule to the planned Lunar Gateway space station in the moon's orbit, spending a total of 30 days in space. Two of these explorers, including the first woman and person of color to walk on the moon, will be carried down to the lunar surface by the Gateway's human landing system, quote-unquote. They will spend a week exploring the surface of the moon's south pole, so a whole week there, a region previously unvisited by humans. Now, we know the south pole is where Russia and China joint mission want to have a human uh, base there as well. So they will spend a week exploring the surface of the moon's south pole, a region previously unvisited by humans. Here they will conduct various experiments, including the sampling of the water ice that was first detected on the lunar surface back in 1971. First, however, the U.S. Space Agency must prepare to ensure the crewed Artemis II mission around the moon is a success. A spokesperson for NASA told Express UK, following successful splashdown of the Orion spacecraft for the Artemis, Artemis I mission, December 11, 2022. Teams at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida are now preparing for the return of the crew model, the module. And once it arrives, the spacecraft will be deserviced and reusable components will be removed. The U.S. aerospace firm Lockheed Martin is currently constructing four Orion capsules for the Artemis 2 to 5 missions, into which these components might potentially be recycled. And back in late October last year, NASA announced that it had ordered three more Orion spacecraft to a total cost of $1.99 billion for use on the Artemis 6 to 8 missions, which are expected to launch between 2028 and 2030. Now, the NASA spokesperson continued, the Exploration Ground Systems team is working on preparing the ground systems for Artemis II mission, which includes modifying the mobile launcher and launch pad 39B to support the crew. Work is also already underway to assemble the Orion crew and service module for Artemis II. The solid rocket booster segments for the Space Launch System rocket are expected to arrive at Kennedy for integration this year, 2023. Furthermore, Canoe Technologies, Inc. will deliver customized all-electronic crew transportation vehicles designed to take the fully suited Artemis astronauts, their support team, and equipment on the nine-mile stretch of road from the Neil Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building to launch Complex 39B. The zero emission of vehicles will replace the agency's Astro Van fleet, the 1983 Airstream vehicles, that carry space shuttle crews to the launch pad. The teams are very excited after a successful Artemis I mission and looking forward to Artemis II, which will be NASA's first crewed lunar mission since 1972. And uh, NASA SLS, the Space Launch System, can be adapted to launch payloads to the Moon, Mars, and even Saturn. The SLS will accelerate moon-bound crews to uh, at least 24,000 miles an hour. That's as fast as uh, you know, some uh, asteroids. 
Now the rocket boasts uh, four RS-25 engines with additional twin solid rocket boosters, SRBs. The SLS Block 1 configuration can spend, send up to 50,000 pounds beyond the moon. More than a thousand companies are involved in the creation of this SLS uh, uh, system, the Space Launch System. Now it's expected that NASA will likely announce the astronauts, three Americans and one Canadian, to crew the Artemis II mission early this year. And even though it's still two years off, the wheels are already in motion preparing for Artemis III, with last month having seen the rocket's engine section flight hardware ferried from the NASA Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans to the Kennedy Space Center. Now teams at Kennedy are working to finish outfitting the engine section, which will form the tail end of the 212 feet tall space launch system core stage. And alongside this, 2023 has much in store for space exploration enthusiasts, including the first orbital tests of SpaceX Starship, the launch of European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer, and a wide variety of robotic lunar lander missions. So that's uh, we're going to see a lot of exciting things happening concerning space this year. This is by Ian Randall on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. My Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box 